From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Hi, Weirdos! It's Darren, and uh, I'm asking you, my fellow Weirdos, this week to join me in raising money for food for the poor. You will be saving the lives of children and families in Haiti and Guatemala, and a single, one-time gift of just $50 it will provide food for a year and clean water for life. Saving the life of a child and her family – I mean, are you going to do anything more important the rest of this year? So I give monthly because, well, I believe in this organization, but I'm asking you to only give once. That's it, just once. One gift of just $50. You can give right now at MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor. That's MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor, or click the food for the poor square in the right hand column at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you would rather, you can also use your mobile phone to give. You can call pound 250 and then say the word HOPE when you're prompted and you can speak to an operator. That's pound 250 on your mobile phone and then say the word HOPE. But please, give today. This is the only week that I'm going to be asking you to join me in this worthwhile project that I believe in so much. And I really do hope that you'll believe in it as well. MarlarHouse.com slash food for the poor or click the food for the poor square at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Thank you. As part of a new BBC documentary, Stephen Hawking Expedition New Earth, Hawking is going to test his theory that humankind must colonize another planet or perish in the next 100 years. Uh, all right, I'm sorry, but you know, while the air here might not be that great, still beats Mars with its zero breathable air and completely unsurvivable environment. In England, a woman claims she cannot leave the house because she is allergic to Wi-Fi signals and cell phones, which is strange because I don't think life would be possible without them. Miley Cyrus says she has stopped smoking pot for three whole weeks. Wow, yeah, we'll, we'll alert the people at Pulitzer. In the Ukraine, a man robbed a store making off with about $200. Two blocks away, he took off his pants and ran. When police caught up to the man, he told them that losing his pants was part of his disguise. I I I've got nothing to add to that. Well, here's one name that we can add to the early mix of potential 2020 candidates – Disney CEO Bob Iger. Back in March, The Hollywood Reporter noted that Iger was seriously considering supporters' requests that he run for the Democratic nomination. So if the Disney CEO is president, does America become the happiest place on Earth? Caitlyn Jenner's book, The Secrets of My Life, has stalled at number 296. The Kindle version is at 487. Keeping Up with the Kardashians was 17th of the top 25 cable shows. The long national nightmare could be winding down. Well, here is a wedding nobody will forget. A video is going viral showing a female minister throwing up in the middle of the ceremony just as the bride and groom say their vows. The video shows the female minister bending her head to the side to vomit and has been viewed over 400,000 times. The footage begins with touching scenes as the beautiful bride promises to be her husband's best friend and biggest advocate. But in the background, the minister's complexion begins to turn pale and sickly as she shuffles awkwardly from side to side. Next, her expression turns to one of panic and desperation before her cheeks begin to bulge and she turns her head and lets it all out. The visibly shaken bride continues her vows, promising to love her husband as the minister lies on the floor through sickness and health, and horrifying wedding ceremonies till death do us part. Paris Hilton has just signed a seven-figure deal with Calvin Klein. And the only way this makes sense to me is if Calvin Klein is paying seven figures if Paris agrees not to wear their product. Two vandals in Norway overlooked a small but crucial detail when they started smashing up an elevator. They were inside the elevator. The elevator got its revenge on the vandals, sealing its doors and holding the two for the police. Officer Karma, always silently on the job. 
A Baylor University fraternity has been suspended after holding a Mexican-themed Cinco de Drinco party. Now, I'm just going to take a wild guess here and say this had less to do with the alcohol and more to do with somebody complaining that their heritage has been stolen. Because that is the ultimate of sins nowadays on liberal snowflake campuses. A Brooklyn coffee shop is suing Starbucks for $10 million, claiming that the chain stole its unicorn frappuccino. A judge is going to have to decide who came up with the drink first and, most importantly, why anybody would want to take public credit for it. Bombay Sapphire Gin is being recalled because of the alcohol content. It's supposed to be 40 percent. Some bottles, though, have been as high as 77 percent. And they're calling that defective? That's just over-delivering to your customer in my world. Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff. Grow deeper in your knowledge of the one true God. Get the book free right now at MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff or click the free stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Hey, have you signed up for the Marlar Sheet? It's free and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo. And you can sign up for the Marlar Sheet free right now at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.